Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and I'm going to show you how to animate with displacement map. First thing, try to download a nice image. So that basically has a lot of lines going on, uh, has some geometrical shapes around. For example, this, I don't know, with a city, maybe. Okay, this guy is, is not good there, but uh, you kind of get the main idea. I'm going to try it out with these leaves. It looks really interesting. I'm going to just drag and drop the image in Photoshop like this. And voila, we have this. I'm going to close first this, the timeline. Make sure your photo is on black and white. You go to the adjustments layers and click on black and white. From here, I'm gonna press Control Shift plus E. So we got a single layer going on. It uh, merged the effect with the layer. Press File, Save S. I'm gonna save it on desktop. I'm gonna give it a name. And make sure you're on the Photoshop PSD file, not JPEG. Click Save. So now we're gonna add some text. Press the letter T. Or you are also can go here to the text horizontal type tool and click and just type in something. Press Ctrl T if uh, the font is too small and press also Shift so you won't distort the type. And I'm gonna scale it up somewhere around this. Double click and we're good. We should be good. Okay. Let me check the layers. We're good. Actually, I'm going to create a new copy of this right now and go to filter, distort, displace. And of course, it's going to ask to convert to smart object. So we're going to convert it into smart object so the text won't be editable. And this is the horizontal scale and vertical scale, like how it's going to distort it, actually. So I'm going to start with um, I'm going to start with five. Oh, I did before five on five click OK and select displacement map where you saved it so I gotta double click on the displacement displacement map and we already have a little bit of distortion going on not too many because this is a uh, fresh five on five so we're gonna increase the last one I did it was the maximum was 200 on 200 so I might do this the same from here, I'm going to actually multiply these so I can drag this down. I'm going to right click on this, convert to smart object and drag this here. I'm going to select both of these new layers, which doesn't contain any new effect. So I'm going to select both, drag it again, select all four, drag it. And you know, you just make a lot of uh, layers going on and we're gonna just add we're gonna uncheck this and we're gonna add on this one this is a new one which doesn't contain any effects which is above so we're gonna go and click on filter distort displace now I'm gonna add 10 by 10 click OK select displacement map and we got a little bit more distortion I'm gonna uncheck this and I'm gonna make, you know, so on and so forth with every each of these. And I'm gonna increase the number by five. So I won't finish this like the full 200 frames. I'm just gonna show you how it's distorted on 200. So I'm gonna go to filter, distort, the displace. I'm gonna add 200. So let's see. This is not the maximum. You also can distort it more and see what happens. Uh, yeah. So this is gonna look like this. So you need to like experiment with textures, with uh, beautiful images and see what it was, what is gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. And after this, I'm gonna delete these, of course, because I won't finish it right now. Let me add another layer and I'm gonna recolor this white. So I'm gonna select from here, paint bucket tool and just click. Now we get a nice background going on. From here, we're gonna go to Windows and select Timeline. So if it's gonna appear like this, this is not good. Uh, we need to change it. So go to Convert Frames to Convert to Frame Animation. So this is what we don't want. So it's gonna appear like this. And now click on Make Frames from Layers. So now you're gonna see that it added every layer which was here 
We need to uncheck this, for example. So I'm going to scroll down here and uncheck the background and check the layer. So this is the white background. I'm going to delete these two white layers. So I'm going to delete on this, click on yes. And here is the distortion. I'm going to hit play here. And this is how it start to, you know, distort. So here, like, there here are basically are like few frames. You need to go on and on, like to 200, 300, 400 until it gets distorted. But uh, you don't need like a complex, complex process, like, uh, you know, 5, 10, 15. You can go like uh, 10, 20, 30 and so on and so forth. You, you need to, you know, test it out. Oh yeah, by the way, you also can add some really nice effects. So I'm gonna go here and go to the adjustments layer. You also can click on invert. So it's gonna invert the whole thing, which looks really cool. And you also can add some new effects. Let me add this one. This is the gradient map. And you just click on this and i want to change it to i don't know greens and just click on it and you can discover some really cool stuff this was the last one i did and then click ok and you're ready boom there you go and from here if you want to export it go to file export and it should be something like render video you got the options here and you just click on render oh and you just select you also select the folder folder where you want to you know export it and that's it all right thanks for watching also if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get, you get notified with daily updates and yeah check out the other videos have a good one bye bye